Washington state government tell News Channel 9 they're reviewing legal options for responding to a court order the DOT stop work on the I-81 project. News Channel 9's Andrew Donovan talks with city leaders frustrated by the delay and hoping to speed up again as soon as possible. Joe Driscoll's new job to prepare Syracuse for the I-81 project continues despite a court order telling the state to stop. Whether you were for the grid or for the viaduct or whatever your option was, I feel a unanimous spirit in this community is let's get to it, let's move forward, let's stop just talking and, and see some action. There is a federal record of decision. The idea that the community grid is coming is inevitable. It will be here. It's just a question of how long people are able to delay it at this point. At last check, the DOT stood by its promise that work would begin by the end of this year. But in court paperwork, the DOT clarifies that actual construction was set to begin next spring. This court order risks delaying both of those milestones. Obviously, you can't start construction in January, but I do think still, uh, as we always see in government, um, the pipeline is always so much longer. You have to put things in three or four months in advance to be there when the spring comes. So even though this, you know, the shovels weren't going to go on the ground in January, I still think this holds us up if we have to wait until January. The lawsuit was filed by some of the group behind replacing I-81 with a sky bridge. Among them, county legislator Charles Garland and former city police chief Frank Fowler. What's his motivation? Andrew, if you figure that out, please report back to us at City Hall. We have no idea how Frank Fowler became the face of the 81, uh, Save 81 movement. Where are the resources coming from? They're coming from the mall and they're coming from the hotels and the in Salina. I mean, that's been clear from the beginning. Not clear when the work gets going. In Syracuse, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9. And the attorney representing Renew 81 for All did not answer the question about Frank Fowler's involvement, but claims no funding will come from Destiny USA or its owners. He writes, quoting now, the state should take the opportunity to go back to the drawing board, really listen to the overwhelming majority of residents who oppose their plan, and come up with a solution that works for everyone, end quote.